hi beauties and welcome to my channel hi guys welcome to my channel too this review is about unisex perfumes perfumes that are long lasting perfume that will last all day on you you don't need to touch up when you wear these perfumes they are luxury perfumes they are niche perfumes powerhouse perfumes beast mode perfumes I'm going to start with Mansera. I've collected quite a few of Mansera perfumes that I would say I've got an arsenal of Mansera perfumes because they're long lasting. They smell good. If it's not a good perfume, I wouldn't have many of Mansera perfumes. Not that I have a lot, but I've got quite a few. That shows that Mansera perfumes are good. I'm going to start with Velvet Vanilla from Mansera. Lovely perfume, strong perfume, very intense. This is a heavy heater. This is not for intimidated hearts. This is a perfume that doesn't need help this is a perfume that you don't need to spray a lot i am an over sprayer i spray too much i can't help it but i'm telling you that this you don't need to spray a lot i spray perfumes in such a way that you know sometimes i want to open it yeah Drink a little bit mm -hmm. so that if you can't smell it on my clothes or my skin, yeah, you'll be coming out from my breath. You know, when I talk, you'll be smelling perfume. That's how bad I am with um, spraying perfume. I'm an over sprayer. And uh, guys, ladies, please be careful with the trigger of this perfume. It's, 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 not, um, it, it's not a perfume that you spray a lot. You don't need a lot of this. It's very long lasting. It's so, so long lasting. It leaves an intoxicating trail. It's so long lasting that it is headache inducing. That's how powerful this perfume is. Velvet Vanilla from Mansera. The next perfume, again, is also from Mansera. This one. The pet name I call it is Until You Kill Me because it lasts all day too. If you want to kill yourself and kill everyone around you, this is for you. If you love attention, you want everyone to focus on you because of, you know, the smell of your perfume. Everyone asking you, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? This is for you. If you want attention, you want your perfume to walk in before you. This is for you. What am I saying? This is a compliment getter. It's very, very intense. It lasts all day. A wood exclusive from Mansera. Did you hear what I call it? I called it a wood exclusive. I did not say wood exclusive. I said a wood exclusive because the size waiting on the bottle. Lovely perfume. Guys, this is for you. Most of the perfumes that I'm going to review tonight, they lean towards men. Yes, it's unisex, but most of them are for men. But we women, we can still wear them. That's why I have them. A wood exclusive from Mansera. The next perfume from Mansera, again, is Roses Vanille. Very lovely perfume. It smells good. It lasts all day. For me, naming the notes in perfumes, they are not my thing. What is important to me is how long a perfume will last on my skin. How long a perfume will last on my clothes. And how good it smells. The trail it leaves behind. The sillage. 
how long a perfume lasts is the most important thing to me not the nose i like watching other influencers when they are doing reviews and they are naming the nose and the perfume of course it's good i'm not gonna say because i don't like naming it then it's not a good thing to name it because some people might like that i don't it doesn't work for me everyone has got a method to their madness this is roses vanille from mansara lovely perfume all of them are unisex the next one from mansara as well when it came out it was a hit there was so much noise about this perfume it's like you have to have it and i have to have it i've used it before and now i've replaced it again it's such a lovely perfume i don't want to open it because even if i open it you can't smell it i've got a lot of them that i have opened and i'm happy to show you those ones and like i said before everyone has got a method to their madness to me you're mad to you i'm mad that's what life is about i'm sure you'll be wondering why did you open some of them and you haven't opened this one because i have some of them that i want to start using the ones i've used before and replace them i need them to rest i don't want to open it yet because opening it makes no difference what is important to you is how good it smells and how long it lasts instant crush from vani from mansera sorry instant crush from mansera lovely perfume last but not the least this is roses greedy from mansera i told you guys that i collected quite a few that shows how good this house is the he makes beautiful long-lasting perfumes trust mansera when it comes to long-lasting thumbs up roses vanille from mansera this smells you know i would say it's like it's leaning towards women, but guys can still wear it. There's a way Mansara makes his perfume. Mansara makes his perfume in a way that man and woman, anyone can wear it. Wonderful perfume, long lasting perfume. Love, love, love. Roses Greedy from Mansara. The next perfume I want to show you, guys, ladies. Hmm. The name says it all. I didn't name it. But what I did is also to give it a pet name. I've got some perfumes here that I have given them their own pet names due to their performance and how they make me feel. Or what it will make you feel like doing, if you know what I mean. This particular perfume will make you feel like doing something. You know what I'm saying? This is absolute aphrodisiac from initial. I call this sex in a bottle. <laughs> Ladies, wear this perfume for your man, especially for that man you love, especially when you want to make love. To me, sex without passion is pornography this is a perfume that when you wear it your mind will be all over you yes i said it i don't wear nonsense i don't buy nonsense before i pay for something you're looking at these perfumes maybe it's like there's a lot here i don't have a lot but i took my time i wore them left it on my skin for a while to see the performance to see how long it will last the siage the lasting power everything i needed to know and they came true they passed they made it to my satisfaction this is absolute aphrodisiac from initio lovely perfume anyone can wear it but i think it's for ladies fantastic perfume ladies take note this is good the next perfume again is also from Initial. Now, guys, this is for you. We ladies, we do wear it, but I feel this is for men. But ladies can wear it. This is 
Oud for Greatness. Beautiful perfume. Fantastic. Long-lasting. This is not for intimidated hearts. They are heavy hitters. These perfumes are powerful. These are perfumes that when you wear them, you go where you're going. No shaking. Don't bother whether it is still there or can someone smell it. You can smell it. They can smell it. That's what makes it for me. Sometimes I don't want to wear perfume that people can smell it. I can't smell it. What's that? I paid for it. I want to smell it. It's mine. Okay? That's where these perfumes comes in. They smell good and they last wonderful perfume their performance is forever i'm telling you they last very very long they last all day you don't need to touch up good for greatness from initial guys like i said a lot of things about the absolute aphrodisiac for you know women if you want to get us if you want to get our attention you also want a hug from your woman you want her to stop running after you up and down, asking you, I don't know what pet name you guys call each other, babe, babe, or whatever. And she'll be like, what are you wearing? I love that. And she, you know, she will hug you. She will want something. You, you know what I mean? This is it. Good for greatness. From Initio. Lovely perfume. Long lasting. Guys, this is for you. Ladies can wear it too. That's why I have it. The next house I want to talk about. I just want to do three of them tonight. Because I've got other perfumes to review. I'm talking about Bond number no. 9. This is Amber from Bond number no. 9. This one I would say, we ladies, this is good for us. Very, very nice. Again, men can wear it if they want to. Okay, it's not necessary. The way Bond makes their perfume again, they make it in a way that men can wear it and um, get away with it, and women can wear the men's one as well and get away with it. Bond is known for making long lasting perfumes, Bond is known for making perfumes that when you wear it, you go where you're going, you don't need to touch up Bond number no. nine perfumes. No. They are powerful perfume, beast mode, long lasting. Ladies, can you see my nails? Mm. Right, I'm going to do a review about the things I use to maintain my nails and they grow. Sometimes you need to take a break from false nails because they weaken the nail plate. So it would be nice to treat your nails, let them grow naturally and you will love it. I will do a review on that. They are all my natural nails i hardly wear false nails anyway one number nine amber next from bond again this is bond number nine in this is agarwood agarwood from bond number nine this is one of my favorite bond number nine perfumes yes i said it i love this i just love this it smells so good it lasts so long when you wear agarwood bond number nine rest assured don't worry don't think it's gone it's there you can smell it they can smell it and i love that about bond perfume bond perfume is not for the fainted hearts no Bond makes statements and it's been around. If you don't know about luxury perfume and maybe you want to start collecting luxury perfumes, niche perfumes, you can start with Bond. They last all day. Agarwood from Bond number nine. Last but not the least from the Bond that I've got here, this is Oud patchouli from bond number nine fantastic perfume long lasting just like the others bond number nine is known for making long lasting perfumes i keep reiterating it that i don't name notes i don't name ingredients what i'm interested in is how long perfume will last how good it smells how it makes me feel these are things that I look out for in perfumes. 
especially the lasting power and how good it smells. They are very, very important. Bond number nine, oud patchouli. Hmm. The next perfume I like to show you is Bodice the Victorious. This is intense. Intense from Bodice the Victorious. Let me make you guys laugh. I did a review on this perfume, well, with other ones, but I brought that video down. And um, when I wanted to say Bodice the Victorious, I said, Budesai, what's that? <laughs> what a Budesai, where is the Sai and where is the Ooh? What was that about? You know, a good comedian makes fun of themselves. It's good sometimes we make fun of ourselves. Yes. This is intense from Bodice the Victorious. Lovely perfume. The name says it all. It lasts all day. It locks on anything it touches. Lovely smell. Long lasting. The siage is there. The performance is there. This is a perfume that when you wear it, you go where you're going. Intense from Bodice the Victorious. Lovely perfume. I also have Divine from Bodice the Victorious. Lovely perfume. This one is not as intense as the um the intense one i don't know if i'm making sense the other one is called intense this one is divine so when i say it's not as intense as intense i mean it's not as intense as the previous one that i just um showed you guys ladies this is not as strong as as this one this is not as strong as this one this one is called Intense from Bodice. So that's why I said it's not as intense as intense, meaning it's not as strong as this particular one. Having said that, it doesn't mean this is not strong. Let me tell you something that will make you love this perfume even more. This is it's, it's almost like you don't want noise, but you want a little bit of noise. You don't want everywhere very quiet. When you wear this perfume, everyone can smell it. This is an expensive perfume. This is not a cheap perfume. It's not a perfume because I said it's not as intense as the other one. Then you think it's not going to last or someone can smell it. No, you will smell it. They will smell it. It's just that it's not in your face. This one is in your face. Not in your face again like in a cheap way. No, not at all. These are refined quality perfumes. These are luxury perfumes. These are powerhouse, beast mode, niche perfumes. So they don't make them to make noise with the way they smell. They make them to show that they are class. That's why they're called luxury perfumes, niche perfumes. This is Divine from Bodice the Victorious. Fantastic perfume. The next perfume I'm going to show you, I don't speak French. So if I don't pronounce it right, don't come for me. I always say that anytime I'm about to review any perfume written in French. This is Thomas Kasmala, number four April Lamont, in the perfume. Wow, that's a mouthful. From Thomas Kasmala, number four, April Lamont, you the perfume. This perfume, 
Hmm. <laughs> Usually, before I buy perfumes, I will spray them, start doing my shopping. Now, you know, watch how long it will last. See how the smell changes. You know, our body chemistry can make perfumes to smell different on each person. Also, it can also affect the performance of the perfume. But with these ones that I am reviewing, body chemistry has nothing on these ones. Yes, I said it. It doesn't matter your body chemistry. These perfumes will lock onto your skin and they will stay there. Yes, I said it. On your clothes, you're looking at about a week until you wash that cloth. Yes, I said it. Some of them, even when you have your shower, you can still smell it on you. Yes, again, I said it. This perfume was love at first sniff. What did I say? I said love at first sniff. The first time I smelled this perfume, I bought it. Yes, that shows how lovely, how long lasting, how good it smells to, oh, I have finished the first bottle. I have to have it. I have to replace it. And that's why I'm not opening this one because I've got other perfumes I want to start wearing. I've got quite a few, so I need to wear some of them. This is something, ladies, guys, please. I said, please, <laughs> I'm begging you. When you go to Harrods, well, that's where I picked mine. I don't know. I think Harvey Nichols or Selfridges might have it. These are perfumes that you cannot get in certain stores. The three places I've mentioned are where you will always get the perfumes that I am reviewing tonight. Harrods, Harvey Nichols. Selfridges. That's if you live in Britain. Every country has their big shops, you know, stores where they sell luxury perfumes. But if you're in Britain, I live in London, so if you're in London, you can only buy these perfumes. And Harrods, Harvey Nichols, and Selfridges. Please, go and smell this particular one from Thomas Cosmala. It's number four. Après la mort, il de perfume. If I didn't pronounce the name right, don't come for me. I'm not French. I don't speak French. Fantastic perfume. The next perfume that I'm going to show you wonderful people. The person who made it once made a perfume that was the most expensive perfume in the world. He is well known. He doesn't make nonsense. I am talking about Clive Christian. He made the most expensive expensive perfume some time ago you know from time to time another person will take over another person will make another perfume that they will say that's the most expensive perfume clive christian has done it he made a perfume called number one imperial majesty it was the most expensive perfume in the world yes i said it at the moment the most expensive perfume in the world is called Shimok. Yes, I said the most expensive perfume at the moment, 2022, is called Shimok. But Clive Christian did make one that was also the most expensive perfume. Why am I telling a little bit of story about this um, line? Is because I have his, you know, one of his collections. Lovely perfume, not the most expensive one, but it's still not cheap. Very, very lovely perfume. He makes only niche perfumes, luxury perfumes. This is 1872 Women from Clive Christian. 
this is for ladies this is for ladies guys this is not for you this is for women lovely perfume 1872 women from clive christian lovely perfume very very long lasting it doesn't make noise but when you wear it you will know that it is there it stays on you it lasts all day clive christian 1872 women the next perfume speaks for itself if you don't know tom ford when it comes to niche perfume i don't know who you know trust me this doesn't need to you know it doesn't need an introduction it lasts all day it stays put it smells really good i'm talking about tobacco vanilla from tom ford lovely perfume long lasting very very long lasting this will last on you all day you don't need to touch up tom ford is also known for making long lasting perfume beastwood perfume yes these are all luxury perfumes they are not for intimidated hearts these are perfume for people who has a presence you know what i mean you come in they know you're in the house that's me I come in, you know I'm in the house. This is Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. The next perfume i like to show you makes me feel like I'm in Dubai or I want to go to Dubai. That's how I feel each time I wear this perfume. Still in the box because this is a replacement. I just got this one. I don't want to open it. And that's why I said that I have my metal. The ones that I've opened, I'll show you. The ones that are still sealed, there's no need to open it. I hope you understand. This is Oud Ispahan from Christian Dior. Very, very lovely perfume. Guys, ladies, I'm going to list their names. That way you can check them out. Every single perfume that I am reviewing tonight, they are all long-lasting they are all beast mode they are all very 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 lovely perfume they all smell really really good the ones that are oud here and there oud doesn't mean they smell like you know some oud that are not good they are refined they are luxury perfumes they are not just perfumes they are luxury perfumes powerhouse beast mode perfumes that's what i wear i don't i can't wear perfume and I cannot infect you with my perfume. What? If I'm wearing a perfume and you walk past me or you're around me, if I hug you, I pass it on. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. Food is per hand from Christian Dior. It does that. Very infectious. In a good way. Fantastic perfume. Love, love, love. The next perfume that... I'm going to show you. It was my favorite perfume. I raved about it so much. I couldn't stop talking. I talk about it as if there is no other perfume. I so much loved it that it was my favorite perfume. But you know, after a while, you know, you pick something else because no one reigns forever. I was a beauty queen. I did not reign forever. Beauty queens don't reign forever. Each year they pass it on. So it's perfumes, clothes and things that we have. After a while, you want to, you know, start loving a particular one. In fact, I don't know if this happens to you. There are some perfumes you have at home that mm, you don't really gravitate towards it. Then one day you wear it and there's this... Ah, love that you've developed for that particular perfume. You start wearing it more, you start loving it. That's what I'm talking about. There are perfumes, you know, we grow to love. But this particular perfume that I'm talking about, no, this is not the one you grow to love. This is the one you love instantly. Who are you not to love Delina from Perfume de Mali? Mostly Delina exclusive. Is something wrong with your nose? Ladies, this is for us. I reviewed it before. 
it was in a box. This is Dalina Exclusive from Perfume de Mali. Look, look, look at this. They are good. So girly, so beautiful. This is for us. <sighs> My God. I wish you guys are here, you ladies are here, to smell this perfume. Please, go to Harrods and smell this perfume. Have a nickel, sell fridges, wherever you can find it. If you're not in Britain, go to your, you know, departmental store that sells lottery perfumes. This is something else. This is my heart. I love this, but I've got to let it rest. Oh. <sighs> I don't want to spray it. One spray is 10 pounds. Mm. <laughs> I can't afford to do that. It's an exp all of them are expensive perfumes. No, so I, I don't want to waste it. What, what what am I wearing today? Today I'm wearing Poison Hypnotic. Yes. It's not among these ones that I'm reviewing because I didn't consider it to be niche. You know, it's, it's, it's a powerful perfume in its own right, but I didn't put it on the same, um, I didn't rate it, you know, in this line of perfumes that I'm reviewing. So I will make a review on that too. It's a lovely perfume, you know, for me to have it, I mean, Christian Dior do not, they don't make nonsense. All right. So this is Dalina exclusive from Perfume de Mali. We also have Dalina. Dalina came out before Dalina exclusive, but love, 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 love. It was my favorite perfume. Now, let me show you the perfume that took over from Dalina. My favorite perfume at the moment. I know I will still choose another one someday, but at the moment, the reigning queen is... <laughs> when I first did the review on this perfume, I couldn't pronounce the name. And um, even now, I've, I've done well, okay? Because I took my time to, you know, listen and uh, try my best to pronounce it properly. So... I've done well. I, I I would say properly now. Listen out for what I'm about to call it. I know I'm. I, you know I'll do well. I emphasize so much about my love for the name of this perfume. The love I have for this perfume made me not to be saying the name of who made it, because the name of who made this perfume is long, and also to pronounce it is you know it was a problem for me, but. I did my best and say, I have to know how to pronounce this perfume because um, it's gotten to that stage that it's beginning to bother me. Why can't I say it? What, what, what is it? And um, I'm such a woman that what is hard is things I like to go and sort out. And what is perfume's name that I can't say it? I'm a strong woman. Do you know what I mean? So pronouncing Bakara, you know, Mason, uh, uh, Francis Cardigan, Bakra Rouge 540. What is it? Look at it. Oh, wow. When I reviewed this perfume initially, I said, ladies, this perfume, it makes me go, bah, boo, it busts my head. I hope you still remember that. Now, it's not a lot of people that will understand this demonstration and what I'm talking about or what I'm doing, but Africans will understand what I'm saying because we have a way of expressing things that we really like. Everybody, I mean, these days, I don't know if you're watching Instagram, someone saw my picture and say, I didn't know what they meant. I didn't know what it meant. And I, will, uh, I, I wrote to the person, I said, what is ichuk? I said, it means this is good. You're hot. You're beautiful. It's happening. All the good compliments you can think of. So when I did, bah, boom, it bust my head. That's what I meant. This perfume bust my head. Don't go there. I love Baccarat Rouge 540. This name is the problem. 
Each time you say Baccarat Rouge 540, it's like I'm high. You understand what I'm saying? I love this. This is now my favorite perfume. Mason Francis Kajan Pagara Rouge 540. I said it right. Before, I used to fight with this. <laughs> it was so difficult. It was so hard for me to say. What it is, I don't know. Guys, ladies, this is just 50 mil. My God. But this perfume, there is no perfume like it. It smells like no other. I've watched review where some people said that they, you know, it has dupe. Uh, there are some perfumes that, no, no perfume smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes, I said it. When you wear this perfume, you get into ladies' toilet or a departmental store or wherever you walk into, you're going to leave an intoxicating trail. Yes, I said it. This is not a perfume that you would wear and you won't get a compliment. No. Each time I wear this perfume, people stop me and ask me what I'm wearing. Very, very good. Very long lasting. Mason Francis Kajan Baccarat Rouge 540. My favorite perfume at the moment. Love, love, love. We're getting there. The next perfume I'm going to show you. Sit back, relax. This is powerhouse. This is end of discussion. This is it. This perfume, I gave it a pet name as well. I called it standing ovation. It gets it. Whenever I wear this perfume, this is a perfume that if you want to bully people in a good way, you want to, I know there's no such good way. But <laughs> bully is bully. But this is about perfume that you want your perfume to intimidate every other perfume that is in that house when you walk in. This is the perfume. You want to come in. No one smells like you. It's impossible. Yes, I said it. What did you eat? Hmm. I don't know who will smell like you. Or how many people that will be wearing this same perfume with you. What? No. It's not going to happen. If you want to take over without asking questions they will beg you to take over have you seen where you know we have this saying when they say diplomacy is the ability to tell someone to go to hell in such a way that they actually look you know forward to it this is a perfume that you don't need to tell them to back off they will back off you know what i'm saying can you see all the talk that is you know going around this perfume perfume that you wear it no one. They've not given birth to that person that will smell like you. No, it's not happening. Lovely perfume. Very, very powerful perfume. It leaves an intoxicating trail. This perfume is not for intimidated hearts. If you're not strong, don't buy this perfume. This is a perfume that is for people who like showing off, if you know what I'm saying. Who doesn't like to show off? A lot of people show up, but pretend they don't. Do you understand? You know, they do certain things that act as if they don't know what they're doing, but they know what they're doing because they want attention. Let me tell you something. It's so good to be yourself. This is a perfume that when I wear it and come into a place where somebody that doesn't like me or do not talk to me is there, I use this perfume to give it to them. No need to talk. It's not everything that you talk. Sometimes let your actions speak. If someone doesn't like you, even if you cut your neck and give them, they won't like you. So you might as well be yourself. You might as well do what you have to do, you know, to sit down properly and be comfortable. I've seen people where when they go to events or they walk into a place where somebody that they are not in talking terms with comes in, they walk away. Or if the person comes to sit near them, they get up. Who are you? No. If I was sitting there, we don't talk to each other, you decide to come and sit next to me and pray to your God that I am wearing this, my lovely perfume. You will live for me. No, I was already sitting there. Even if you are seated before me and that is the only chair left, I will still come there and sit next to you. 
I don't have to talk to you to sit next to you. You have to understand this, that if somebody doesn't like you, even if you cut your neck and give them, they still would not like you. You might as well be yourself. Just make sure you don't disrespect anybody. Mind your business. I mind my business. I don't make friends. The version of me you created in your head is not my responsibility. What is important is that I give you your respect, you give me mine. This is a perfume that commands respect. This is a perfume that when you wear it, they will know you're in the house. It comes in before you. Yes, it has a statement. It has a presence. I am talking about Fragrance du Bois, Oud Orange Intense. This is 50 ml. Can you see how small it is? But it's powerhouse. Powerhouse. You can't have this perfume and regret it, no. I'm telling you, this is something else. I said a lot before showing you this perfume because it deserves it. It's not just a perfume. It is Fragrance du Bois Oud Orange Intense. Beautiful perfume. Love, love, love. Get it if you can. The next perfume is Giorgio Amani Amani Prevert in Rose de Arabi. This is from Giorgio Amani Amani Prevert Rose de Arabi. Fantastic perfume, long lasting, very intense. It stays put. When you spread this perfume, go where you're going. You don't need any effort. You don't need to top up. It lasts all day. Lovely, lovely perfume. Giorgio Amani, Amani Privé, Rose de Arabi. That's a mouthful. Love, love, love. Very, very long lasting. And it smells good. The next perfume, wow. This has a little bit of story. From what I heard, I heard that this is Riri, Rihanna's favorite perfume. She loves this. This is Killian. Love, don't be shy from Killian. I repeat, love, don't be shy from Killian. This is a lovely perfume. I love this. This is a heavy heater. It does not apologize. You wear this, you go where you're going. This is not for fainted hats, nor is it for intimidated hats. Similar words. I am telling you, this is fantastic. It smells good. Killian. This is love. Don't be shy from Killian. What a beautiful perfume. I love this. Love, love, love. If you notice, all these perfumes, most of them are full. Because... <laughs> I have quite a few, if you know what I mean. Beautiful perfume. They are all luxury perfume. They are niche perfume. They are long lasting. These are perfumes that when you wear them, they will last all day. Some of them, even after you've had your bath, you can still smell it. Love, love, love. Love, don't be shy from Killian. Beautiful perfume. Like I said, I heard, I didn't see that this is Rihanna's favorite perfume. Really, good luck with your pregnancy. By the grace of God, you're going to have a safe delivery. Love, don't be shy, from Killian. Last but not the least, this is Ude Amouage from Amouage. I'm not sure you can still get this. Fantastic perfume. Every perfume from Amouage is wonderful, long lasting, beautiful. I love this. This is for ladies, guys, so you know. This is not for men. This is for women. Unless you want to wear it. Most of the perfume I reviewed here are for men and women. Mostly men. It's only few that are for ladies. This is the Amouage from Amouage. Fantastic perfume. Love, love, love. Every single perfume that I've reviewed tonight, they are all long-lasting. You wear them, you go where you're going. Rest assured, I will list their names so that you can go and um, check them out. Let me see how many perfumes that I reviewed here that are specifically for women. These three are for women. Let me see if I can let you see them this this and this 
they are all for women the rest are unisex i've done well for you guys men see you have a reason to watch my channel now because some of you will tell me oh you you just talk to your fellow women your channel is for ladies only now if you listen to my channel in as much as i'm talking to ladies there are things that concerns men when i do motivational you know topics you know i'm a motivational speaker if you watch those few that i've posted you will see that there are things that concerns men there so don't be put off when you see hair review makari review or makeup no be patient try and watch my channel they are very very interesting i hope i did well tonight i also hope that i was as informative as you know i can be i think i did well i was informative i named everything so guys ladies check these perfumes out when you go to the stores where they sell them thank you for watching i said it in the beginning that you should subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you have subscribed thank you for subscribing follow me on my instagram on queen Akwaka beauty channel this has been a long review take care good night bye